Hey guys, Dave Fogel here. We're at Coastal Indoor Golf. We're going to do a little testing of the Trackman versus the Swing Caddy SC200 and the Mevo. First, I want to give a shout out to Brian at Coastal Indoor Golf for letting me shoot this video here. If you're ever in Jacksonville, check it out. Three huge Trackman hitting bays. This place is awesome. So before we get started, I wanted to show you guys the setup. So I have the Mevo on the left of the unit. I have the Swing Caddy up front a little more so it would read better. And then the Trackman obviously at the back. Also, I did have the dots on the balls so that the Mevo would get the correct amount of spin, and I think it helps Trackman also. Finally, I did measure the exact distance of Mevo to balls and set it up in the app so I could get it as accurate as possible. Okay, guys, here we go. We're starting off with a six iron. First swing. First of all, let me apologize for these wonky graphics, but it is a little difficult taking pictures of everything that isn't straight. So let's get to it. So Trackman is going to be our base. We're going to do everything against Trackman. So we've got 172 carry on Trackman. We got 170 on the Mevo and 160 on Swing Caddy. So Swing Caddy right away, way off. Swing speed, we have 84.9 on Trackman. We have 100, we have 82 on Swing Caddy and we have 85.8 on Mevo. So Mevo was closest to Trackman in this case. Uh, swing Caddy was just a little bit off. Next, we're gonna look at ball speed. So we have 114 miles an hour on Trackman, 109 on Swing Caddy, 115.8. So. Mevo a little bit off, uh, Swing Caddy quite a bit underneath. Lastly, let's take a look at the smash factor. So we got 1.34 on Trackman, 1.31 on Swing Caddy, 1.35 on Mevo. All of them are relatively close. Okay, Swing 2. We got 164 carry on Trackman. We have 159 on Mevo and 169 on Swing Caddy. So in this case, Swing Caddy is actually closer. Well, actually, they're both about five off. So call it a draw. Let's take a look at club speed. We have 86.4 on Trackman, 88 on Mevo, 85 on Swing Caddy. So in this case, Swing Caddy a little bit closer than Mevo. Next, let's look at ball speed. So 114.3 Trackman, 113 Swing Caddy, 113.8, basically a draw. And Smash Factor 1.32 versus 1.33 versus 1.29. So pretty much a draw. Swing three, we have a carry distance of 168.3 on the Trackman. We have 164.1 on the Mevo and 177 on Swing Caddy. So Swing Caddy way off on this one. Club head speed, we've got 85.1 on Trackman, 89.4 on Mevo and 84 on Swing Caddy. So in this case, Mevo was way optimistic. Next, let's look at ball speed, 117.4 on Trackman, 116 on Swing Caddy, and 117.7, so all of them very close. Lastly, Smash Factor, we got 1.38 Trackman, 1.38 Swing Caddy, 1.32, pretty much a draw. Swing 4, we have a carry distance of 172.5 on Trackman, 170.3 on Mevo and 182 on Swing Caddy. So again, we're seeing Swing Caddy is way off in the carry distance. Let's take a look at club head speed. We have 86.7 on Trackman, 91.9 on Mevo, and 86 on Swing Caddy. So in this case, Swing Caddy much closer to Trackman. Mevo was way optimistic there. Ball speed, we have 119.3 on Trackman, we have 119.7 on Mevo, and 119 on Swing Caddy. So everybody the same, oh, it's a draw. Smash factor 1.38 on Trackman, 1.38 on Swing Caddy, 1.30 on Mevo. Pretty much a draw. It's time to move on to the driver using my original Cobra Amp Cell Pro. First driver swing, we have 238.4 carry on Trackman, we have 237.8 on Mevo, and 247 on Swing Caddy. So Swing Caddy is quite a bit off, Mevo is pretty close. Looking at swing speed, 100 miles an hour on Trackman, 105 on Mevo, 102 on Swing Caddy. So in this case, both Swing Caddy and Mevo are off, but Mevo is a little bit higher. Looking at Ball speed, 148, 148, and 149. So pretty much a draw. And smash factor, 1.48. Trackman, 1.45. Swing caddy, 1.42 on Mevo. Swing six, we have a carry distance of 231.9 yards on Trackman. We have 226 yards on Mevo and 250 yards on swing caddy. So swing caddy way off, Mevo a little bit off, and reading under Trackman. 
Let's move on to ball speed. We've got 146 miles per hour, 146.7 miles per hour on Trackman. We have 146.9 on Mevo and 150 on Swing Caddy. So Swing Caddy a little bit optimistic, but not too far off. Looking at club head speed, we had 100.3 miles an hour on Trackman, 103.3 on Mevo, 102 on Swing Caddy. So both of them just a little bit higher than Trackman. And then looking at Smash Factor, we've got 1.46 Trackman 1.47, Swing Caddy 1.42 on Mevo. Swing 7, we've got the Trackman with a carry of 237.9 yards, the Mevo at 232.2, and the Swing Caddy at 240. So Swing Caddy actually pretty close to the Trackman and Mevo about 5 yards off. Next we're going to take a look at club head speed. So we had 97.5 on the Trackman. 99 on Swing Caddy, 96.5 on Mevo. So in this case, Mevo was closer, but they're both pretty close. On ball speed, we've got 142.9 miles per hour on Trackman, 145 on Swing Caddy, 144.8 on Mevo. So both Mevo and Swing Caddy had roughly the same speed, but they were both higher than Trackman. And lastly, if we take a look at the smash factor, we got 1.47 on Trackman, 1.46 Swing Caddy, 1.50 on Mevo. All of them were pretty close. Mevo a little bit more optimistic. And for the last shot, we've got a carry distance of 237.9 yards on the Trackman, 232 on Mevo, 240 on Swing Caddy. So here we've got Swing Caddy actually pretty close and Mevo quite a bit short. Next, we're gonna take a look at club head speed. So 97.5 on the Trackman, 99 on Swing Caddy, 96.5 on Mevo. So here Mevo was much more accurate but still we're only talking two miles an hour. Next, we're gonna take a look at ball speed. So 142.9 on Trackman, 145 on Swing Caddy, and 144.8 on Mevo. So in this case, both Mevo and Swing Caddy are the same, but they're three miles an hour less than Trackman. And now we're gonna look at smash factor. So we've got a smash factor of 1.47 on Trackman, 1.46 on Swing Caddy, 1.50 on Mevo. So Mevo being a little more optimistic here, thinking I hit it better than I really did even though the numbers are pretty bad. So let's get started. Let's look at the six iron for the swing caddy versus the track man. And pretty much these numbers are very, very close. The only one that really need, we need to talk about is the carry distance. And it's about seven yards longer on swing caddy than it is on track man. So if you're using it indoors or even outdoors, quite honestly, because we've tested that, it really always reads longer. So moving on to the Mevo with the six iron, generally it's very close. You can look at the numbers and they're all pretty good. The carry distance generally is just a little bit shorter than Trackman, so you're not getting quite the real numbers, but on the other hand, you're not getting giant inflated numbers either. So we're talking totally about three yards difference. So if you hit a 160 yard shot on Trackman, it's 157 on Mevo. You're still getting a pretty good idea of how far you're hitting it, even indoors. Moving on to the driver, so let's look at the swing caddy. So the biggest difference here, again, is carry, and it's generally about nine yards longer. So if you're hitting a 250-yard drive on Trackman, you're seeing about 259, 260 yards on swing caddy. All the other numbers are pretty close. You're getting a good idea of ball speed. You're getting a good idea of your club head speed. Really, it's the carry distance that's different. Moving on to the Mevo, it's kind of the same story. It's generally very accurate in all of the numbers but with drivers it's about four yards short versus long so again you're seeing that the mevo is going to give you a closer number to reality or what trackman says is reality but it's always going to be just that little bit shorter than what you're actually hitting lastly let's talk about the spin numbers so with mevo if you attach the metallic dots you're supposed to get a little bit more accurate spin compared to trackman and what we saw is that it was about 256 revolution difference versus Trackman. So it would read a little bit higher. So for example, if it was 5,000 on Trackman, you're getting about 5,260 on Mevo. So a driver, it's the exact opposite. Mevo generally reads about 347 RPM lower. So if you're hitting a 3,000 RPM shot on Trackman, you're seeing about 2,700 on Mevo, making you think that you're spinning it a little bit lower than you actually are. Now, I'll be honest, these dots fell off a lot and I don't think they're that great regular basis, but we did see the numbers get pretty close to Trackman. So which one should you buy, the Mevo or the Swing Caddy if you're going to practice indoors? Well, to be honest, they're both really good. The only real difference is that with Swing Caddy, you're going to see that the numbers are going to be a little bit higher on carry distance, and on Mevo, they're going to be a little bit shorter. Mevo is probably a little bit more accurate, but quite honestly, it, 
it's not that big a deal one way or the other. Just know that with Swing Caddy, your numbers are going to be high, and with Mevo, they're going to be low. So I do have some links underneath for each product. They're really good prices. If you're interested in either one of them, feel free to help us out and click on those links below. If you enjoy the video, guys, hit that like button and do remember to subscribe to the channel. We've got lots more great content coming your way. We'll talk to you soon.